Hey there. Hello, hello. How's everybody tonight? So I just thought I'd pop on. I know it's a little late for some people. Um, other people are just waking up. But um, I'm always talking about uh, trying to get unstuck. And I get a lot of people talking to me about feeling lost all the time and feeling stuck and not knowing what to do to move forward with their life. So thought I'd pop on and first of all give you a few hints about you know some of the things that I do when I feel stuck so a few of the ways that I start out the most important thing is is about moving the energy you got to move the energy you got to shift the energy it's the energy that's stuck it's not necessarily you so if you start by moving the energy you know you can do a lot of different things you can do things like space clearing, like smudging, moving furniture and decluttering and all that good stuff. Um, that usually helps to shift the energy within the home and sometimes that helps to shift your own energy too. And then another thing that I like to do is just do something completely different. Maybe it's something that you always wanted to do or always wanted to try. It doesn't matter if it's some place that you wanted to go that you've never been before or maybe it's just, you know, maybe you always wanted to try that fancy latte that's like seven words long in the name, right? So whatever it is, do something different and try something new, even something small. That's going to change your energy and help you to move forward. And then the other thing that's really helpful, and lots of people know this, but we tend to forget, is, is just to be out in nature. My favorite place of all is to go to the beach. You know, if it's too cold to get in the water and swim, at least put your feet in the water. And if you can't put your feet in the water, then just, you know, take off your shoes and put your feet in the sand and connect, connect with the earth and connect with nature. And just being by the ocean, the ions in the air, that shifts everything. So even if you can get close to the ocean, that's great. If not, go for a walk in the woods. If you're in the city, just be outside. Get as close to trees and nature as you possibly can. Um, and, you know, I've also, uh, the other thing that I've done is I've gone and gotten readings for myself. So, and I, I tried to think of one of the most memorable ones that I had. And I have to say, it wasn't maybe the most positive one. I've had lots of positive ones. But one that really hit home with me was uh, we were in a group of people and the speaker there was, was an intuitive reader and also an author. And she went and, you know, gave some messages to some people that were sitting there listening and she came over to me and she stood behind me and put her hands on my shoulders and some of the words she said to me was honey you're in a swamp <laughs> and afterward you know she was she was right it was a very difficult time in my life and afterwards she actually reached out to me and she not only sat down with me and talked to me and, and helped me. And she also, she also gave me a copy of her book that I still have here. So thanks Wanda for that. And uh, I always remembered that, you know, because it meant so much to me that, um, that she would, you know, feel that I was worthy of, of her offering help, you know, that she cared and she care and concern for me. And at that point in my life, that was really, really important. So in addition to the intuitive messages, that helped me as well. But, you know, the things that I do when I do readings uh, to help people to move forward um, is I'm kind of like, I feel like people are standing in a, in a dimly lit room or maybe it's foggy. And it's like all the answers are there at the perimeter, you know, they can, they're there. And inside, we all have a knowing about what we want and what we need. And those answers are there, but it's like you need that help to see them sometimes. And so it's kind of like when I do reading for you, you're like opening the door and saying to me, please come in and show me, you know, the answers. And all I do is I come in and I strike a match I light the lantern, I hold the lantern up in the room, and suddenly, illumination. There are your answers. They've been there the whole time. So that's kind of the way that, you know, in addition to intuitive things and life coaching type things, those are the things that I do that help people find the way. And those readings are offered on my Maritime Mystic page, of course, and you can 
check them out later. They're there and, and I'd love to help you. And for tonight, what I've done is I pulled some cards for this next period of life coming up for everybody. So this is, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before and I'm gonna ask you to pick a number. You can pick number one, two, or three. And then I'm gonna pull the cards out here that I've already got because I didn't wanna waste time uh, having you watch me shuffle the cards. So I pulled some cards uh, in advance and I'm giving you a chance here to pick uh, number one, number two, or number three, and then I'll give you your message. So let's go to card number one. Card number one is the 10 of Gabriel, and this one is about asking other people to help lighten your load because you've been working very hard. So this is about learning to delegate and not trying to do everything on your own, right? So that is card number one, and it's also about not trying too hard to please others. So, anybody who's picked card number two, that's the Magician card. The Magician card is very, very awesome card to get because it's about manifesting the life that you want. And um, it's, it says that what you need will magically appear and successful beginnings. So this is great for starting new things, especially this time of year, and being able to manifest the things that you really want, make them happen magically. So anyone who picked card number three, is the Eight of Michael. And that card is about being free and making a courageous decision to change things and that maybe right now you're not quite seeing things clearly. So you wanna step back and you know take a, a look at things and uh, make sure that you're seeing things clearly and then make a courageous decision which is actually gonna set you free. So those are three really powerful messages and I hope that they do help you and certainly if you have any questions or if you want to see the cards again pop a message on and i'll be more than happy to help you with them and tell you more about them and if you'd like to have a reading or a session with me i do the soul navigation sessions and help you move forward with your life so i hope you have a great night and i'll hope to see you soon